you have bags in your collection that you could not stop hunting for? If you want to see mine, stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel, AKB Bags, and thank you for joining me in the Babe Cave today. And if you like handbags and accessories and vlogs, go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> but when Let's talk about the thrill of the hunt. What do you guys do? Because I'm going to share six bags that it was all about the thrill of the hunt and what I looked for, how I looked for it, what I looked for. And so let's start with this one I've had for several years and this is when the the thrill and the amazing the Pichette Matisse was like blowing up and I went, didn't want to spend the money on it and then the Coach Cassie came out and I hunted. <laughs> I looked at videos for this bag. I watched reviews of this bag. <laughs> I saw the price, I don't know what they were new, but I didn't want to spend it. And I searched on Mercari back when it was a little different. Mercari is not my favorite platform right now. There's too many fakes. Uh, but back when there wasn't, <laughs> I found this beautiful Aurora Pink gunmetal hardware for $125. Snatched it up. It is amazing. Like all the reviews, the thrill of the hunt of this bag was so fun because I knew that I there were lots of colors. There were lots of patterns. There was the CC print with the, the burnt looking here and there was gold hardware. There was silver hardware later, I think. Uh, I just knew from all the videos I watched I wanted this bag. <laughs> so the thrill of the hunt was big time on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari. I wanted to find this bag in great condition, which it still is, and I didn't want to pay too much. I knew it would hold all my essentials. I knew that I would love the top handle, the crossbody strap. I just knew this bag was meant to be mine and the thrill of the hunt was totally there. And I really like this beautiful soft pink. I have worn this to death and have enjoyed it and still it has not left my collection and I still love it. I'm going to make this a tag video because I have six bags I'm going to show you that I hunted down and uh, I would like to see your bags that you hunted that you watched videos tons of videos on from other youtubers uh, or reviews on or how much does it hold what are the dimensions you know those are the bags that I researched to death and for the price I wanted it for the right price so I'm tagging and I'm leaving this tag open to anyone that wants to do it. But I will put some down below because I know there is more than just me that has hunted down bags. And so let's uh, start this tag up and uh, enjoy the fun. I'm going to show you this next one is a Teton bag from Dooney and Burke. I watched a lot of videos on this what is it color block type of bag with and they came with green and red and blues and tans and this is uh, my Teton bag and they came out with like a bucket bag and uh, other styles and colors and there's a lot of them <laughs> and so I went down the Teton Dooney and Burke rabbit hole and watch reviews and I wanted to know how to authenticate that's another reason you the thrill of the hunt is there but you also want to make sure it's authentic and I've told this many a times but 
in case you're new, on the Dooney and Burks, typically there's a tag or they've cut the tag, and that means it's real too, but you also want to know if there's a serial number below the, the Dooney tag. So I did lots of research on this. <laughs> I wanted my own Teton bag. I didn't want to pay three or four hundred dollars because sometimes these are high. Uh, I'm not sure now. This was years ago. And I didn't want it totally beat up. You know, it's it's in really good shape. I'm not sure how old this bag is, but I hunted down the perfect Teton collection crossbody bag with this little pleating, you know, it's just gorgeous. So this is another one that I was hunting for and found. The next one is a little heavy. <laughs> so let me explain. The craze of the multicolor speedies, petite noe, the pochette accessoire, like all the multicolor Louis Vuittons I was obsessed over three or four or five years ago and I wanted my own piece and I always wanted the black multicolor Speedy 30 in all the beautiful colors. I searched fashion file a lot. I waited for a sale. I didn't want to overpay for a multicolor bag, but I knew that this was on my wish list. I always wanted the black multicolor, and look how just beautiful this bag is. If you don't have at least one piece of Louis Vuitton Mirakami piece like this, you need one. <laughs> and I'm not sure if they're re-releasing more multicolor in the future but I would grab one now if you are interested because I think these are going to go up in value so I'm really happy with this I hunted the perfect one with I wanted I did want a at least one pink LV up here I have two purples and a green and they have so many combinations of LV placement, or the placement is all the same, but the colors can all be different. I've seen some with like three uh, pink LVs and one blue or, so yeah, you, you get to choose your color pattern that you want on Fashion File or the Real Real or whatever you trust <laughs> on the secondhand market for a Louis Vuitton. I loved finding this. I I think I put it on reserve, so I made payments, paid it off. It is my unicorn bag, and I loved the thrill of the hunt on this bag. It is really big, <laughs> but you know what? I'm kind of getting back into big bags, so glad I got it. <laughs> This next bag is the Coach Soft Tabby, and it's in the turquoise and the navy blue. And I kept seeing unboxings of this bag over and over with different colorways, with pinks, with reds, with all the colors. <laughs> and this one has suede on it, so I keep it in a dust bag just to, I don't want dust pebbles on the suede, but... I waited for the right price on this one because at Dillard's at that time they were way cheaper than retail and what I notice about Dillard's this is a, a little pro tip here I look on Dillard's website for coach handbags and they're usually some on sale but when you go into the store at Dillard's those prices are even less if you have a chance, I would not buy it necessarily on Dillard's website if you can go in the store because they even mark them down even further. <laughs> FYI, a little little tip for you. So yeah, this one was marked down. It has the shoulder strap, the crossbody, the tab. This soft tabby is 
one of my favorites because you all know I have this the denim soft tabby and I that's another of my favorite bags so this was definitely hunted down but in store purchase at Dillard's so that's that one this next bag is I bought this Viva City GM in 2021 and I was obsessed with the front pockets because your phone fits inside i loved the thick vaquetta strap that it came with it has a huge capacity on the inside again i hunted the gm size they also have a smaller size uh, that i considered but i at the time I wanted the bigger one and I believe the bigger one was a little bit cheaper but I'm not sure now how much these GMs are going for now that maybe big bags are back <laughs> but I hunted this one down after I watched videos after I watched that you could fit a phone in the front <laughs> you could fit everything inside it has the shoulder strap it was in beautiful, the canvas is like a thicker canvas. I can't remember how old this one is. Yeah, it kind of curls a little bit on the on the magnets. Because you have to pull them up. And those are some strong magnets. So again, I looked for very good condition. You know, I wanted to pay under a thousand and no piping showing i watched videos on this i only saw a couple of videos of people that had this size but when i saw it on theirs i can't remember who it was but i loved it and so yes the viva city gm from louis vuitton an excellent find and hunt for is this bag <clears throat> the last bag is my latest greatest well, for now, <laughs> I watched so many videos on the domed buckle satchel from Dooney and Burke Florentine Leather. I watched so many videos. I knew the price point and I knew how far the straps drop was. I knew about the back pocket where your phone goes. I knew it was a big bag and it hold everything. I, again, didn't want to pay full price. I knew what to look for. I knew that these were 24 karat plated hardware. I knew the tag needed to be inside. I didn't want to pay four or $500 for it. I didn't even want to pay $200 for it, and I didn't. <laughs> so sometimes the patience pays off big time. <laughs> Especially when you're excited about a bag or you recently saw it on a video and you're like, man, I wonder if I could find that bag. Well, do your research, know your budget, and just type in dome buckle satchel. And then on Poshmark or Mercari or eBay, you'll get a whole bunch of them. And decide what kind of condition you want that bag in. That's important because, I mean... I don't mind a little wear because I can clean or I can f fix up a little bit. But if there's piping showing, and what I mean by piping is like on a Louis Vuitton bag, I would not buy one that had this exposed. I just, that's not something I can repair. I don't want to send it off. I'm okay with the Vaquetta being a little honeyed. So you got to know what you can stand to carry and what kind of condition you want in this particular hunted bag. You got to know your budget. You got to know the name of the bag, but that's not always the case either. I have found great bags that were listed wrong. They were listed either just coach bag or Dooney bag and the people didn't know the name. Well, so there's those opportunities that I have found too that they misplaced the category or the name of it so they didn't really know how to price it. So that's a, an advantage for, for me who was on the hunt. <laughs>
So These are my six bags that I hunted and watched, reviews, knew the capacity, knew how large, knew what kind of condition, what price I want, and found them. So let me know down below, do you have bags in your collection that you hunted and hunted and hunted for? <laughs> I'm curious to know your bags that you hunted for, and I'm sure you did the same research, or how did you find your bag? Uh, sometimes, you know, buying new helps you know for sure that it's authentic, and I get that. But if you don't want to pay the new price, the thrill of the hunt is so fun. <laughs> and I like the secondary market. Now, again, you got to be careful and research. Watch YouTube videos on that particular bag so you know exactly what you're looking for. So... I hope you uh, enjoyed this video of my six bags that I hunted for and patience is key when you're hunting as well and that is the best advice. Save some, write a list down of bags that you're on the hunt for and patience does pay off. <laughs> so if you don't mind hit the thumbs up for me if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you on here and comment down below which bags did you hunt for and got the best deals, the best condition, amazing price. I'd love to hear it. Until next video, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Something just tipped over over next to me. <laughs>